Hi, my friends. It's Dale from iTalk DEO, here to help you communicate better. And today, we're going to get into the six things you need to know to become a better public speaker. Let's start off with the first one. The first one is using the human bullet points. Human bullet points are nothing more than your fingers to highlight key points. Why do we do this? It helps the audience follow along in your speech and also helps you remember what you're talking about. The second one is the us and ums. And us and ums happen traditionally in transition. We know our speech and then we transition to the next part of our speech. That transition part is our problem. If we don't practice it, what happens? We forget and we create a void. This void, the expert speakers know, is a place to put the pause. But for many of us, we put a, um, as we think about the next subject. So the key is practice those transitions and you'll find that you don't have those spaces. Number three, simple, eye contact. How to use it? Use the grid system. The grid system is nice because it allows you to look at different parts of your audience at different segments of your presentation. Now, there's a second part of eye contact, and that's where you actually look at your script and say, I'm going to be talking louder. I want to make sure I'm looking to the back of the audience. If I'm going to be saying something personal, you can talk softer and look at that part of the audience. The fourth is hand gestures. Well, hand gestures can be used for two reasons. One, to enhance the words, or two, eliminate words. So what we're going to do is look at enhancing the words. If I'm talking about our sales are high or our sales are low, or we can eliminate words by saying, Tim caught a fish. I caught a fish. If you notice here, I didn't need to say Tim caught a small fish or Dale caught a large fish. I let my hands be the words. And the best way to do that is look at your hand gestures to the words that you're going to say. So if you're talking about something small, something high, something over there, just put the hand gesture in and try eliminating the word and use your hands. The Fifth one is voice. Voice inflections. What I tell you to do, and this is my trip, tip and trick, is to look at your script and see where you've put hand gestures in. Because it's real easy to say, Tim caught a fish. I caught a fish. Notice that the inflection in my voice went, Tim caught a fish, and Dale caught a fish. You could increase your volume. You could become happy because you're talking about sales being up or sales being low. So wherever you're putting your hand movements, look to add voice. Now the other trick I recommend is look at your punctuations. If you have a period, basically a normal face. If you're going to be asking a question, you could have a question face. Or if you just got so you can use your face and your voice at the same time. And that's the sixth trick, is using your voice. And the easiest way to use your voice is to look where you're going to place your face. If you're going to do a facial expression and a voice impression and a hand gesture all at one time, it's going to be real easy to look at your script and go, at this point, I'm mad. So what happens when I get mad? I get louder, my face gets meaner, my hands make this gesture. And you've just seen in one incident in your script where to put voice, hands, and face gesture all in one location. So these are the six tips to help improve your speech or presentation. My name is Dale Abracta. I hope you become part of my tribe and subscribe to iTalk DEO. Until next time, Go watch a video.